Here's the climb cryos helmet. This is a tin mount to help record, but that doesn't come with the helmet. This see is the transition lens, which is really cool for the morning and in the afternoon. And then here's the other air vent. So you only have two, you have one here and then two holes up here. And it's pretty easy to change the visors. Justice. Turn that to the bottom like that. And it pops right out. And then turn it back to the top. And it's locked in place. And you have the climb logos and one in the back. ECE, DOT certified. It's pretty easy to take the visors off of this. You have this one, the one on the other side, and then you have the top one. It's just easy to just turn them. You don't need any tools. Um, the peak has big holes, so you don't even feel it jerking like other helmets when you get wind blasts. I'll show you some of the inside of the helmet. And the cheek pads are very cush, very soft. You feel good on your head. Climb level in there. It's just cool. You see the green. See the green honeycomb? That's what is inside instead of the styrofoam. Um, the EPS liner. It's supposed to be a lot more durable. I've never tested it. It's really soft, but it works to help absorb impacts instead of in case you are in an accident. It's all over it. It's a really um, cushion helmet. Fits good. This is a Pro, there's a Prime Krios, and then there's a Krios Pro. Pro, and Pro. Yeah, it's a really comfortable helmet, I like it. And it sits really good on your head, but it doesn't fit every head shape. Um, I came from an Arai XE4, and that was a really good helmet. Um, the only reason I switched was because of the pin lock. So the pin lock makes a big difference. But This helmet is pretty comfortable on your head, and it's got that um, the plastic insert, like recycled material instead of the foam. Um, it's got a few air vents, the one in the front or at the top, and then you got the exhaust in the back, there and there, and then the sides. Help take out all the hot air. And I bought a dark tinted visor just in case, but so far the transition lens works really well. Ventilation is okay. I've ridden it or used it and, and ridden with it in uh, semi hot weather and I didn't really get much airflow into it. But for $749, it's not a bad helmet. It looks, uh, it looks really neat in the matte black. Um, hopefully, if uh, you guys are looking at this helmet, it Gives you a good idea or perspective on if you want to buy it or not. But I'd recommend going to the dealer and trying it on. That's what I did before I purchased it. So hopefully this helps, guys. I like this helmet in, in the, um, good riding weather. The only thing that it just doesn't allow enough airflow like the Arai XD4 did. And I'm soon waiting for the Arai XD5 to arrive. And then I'll be testing that one. And then I'll bring you a review of that one. But, um... Yeah, the only problem with this helmet is it doesn't allow the airflow like I'm used to, like on, on the Arise. Maybe I'm just biased, but I don't really feel much air, and I'm riding through the windy roads and back roads. 
So it's not like it's a really hot day. It's only like 72 degrees. And if you like the video, um, subscribe, comment, and see you in the next one.